It's really easy to get like locked into a box in medical school, but you, you have to break out sometimes, make sure you're, you know, seeing what real life is like. One of the biggest thing that I think of when, as far as preventing burnout is you have to have, formulate some sort of life outside of medicine. I'm a triathlete, um, hope, uh, so if it's, you know, however many, many hours I can do per week in a goal-directed kind of way where I can, I can exercise but not to get too carried away, it, it, re it allows me to remember that there's something else to, to my life aside from just studying. One of my strategies that I learned at this conference today was you know, self-reflection on what's really my priorities and passions. Um, normally burnout manifests in ways that I didn't know, such as you know, having a cynical attitude towards the profession or losing passion. So you know, just a, a daily reflection on what's important to me and ways I could minimize stress and prioritize. As a medical student, one of my main strategies for preventing burnout has been staying involved in extracurricular activities that are meaningful to me. I've been really active with SOMA, the Student Osteopathic Medical Association. It's helped me to keep some perspective about my career and not just get bogged down in the studying and rotations and stress.